today I'm going to show you how to live stream your lessons and interact with your students in real time right from home using Streamlabs OBS right now. Hi guys, my name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher, Google certified educator, and doctoral student. And on this channel, I show you how to use technology to aid your teaching and the occasional comedy skit. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Streamlabs OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, is a tool that lets you stream your computer and your own image to an audience anywhere in the world. Through this, teachers have been using slobs or Streamlabs OBS to stream lessons to their students. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you how to download and set up the software so you can share all your lesson materials. I'll also show you how to add your webcam. And once you start streaming, to interact with your students in real time using chat. You can stream to a multitude of platforms, including YouTube and Twitch. And ultimately, it's a decision you have to make based on where you think would be easiest for your students. Live streaming is great because it's the closest thing to teaching in person from your computer, and there's a lot more interaction with students in real time. So without further waiting, let's get to it. This is the Streamlabs OBS tutorial for teachers right now. All right, so we're going to start off by going to an internet browser, and the first place we're going to go is streamlabs.com. This is, as you can see, an all-in-one live streaming software. So what you're going to do first is you're going to click download Streamlabs. Once Streamlabs is downloaded, that will allow you to install this software for streaming on your computer. Once you've downloaded the software, go ahead and click the setup file and it will allow you to install Streamlabs onto your computer. Finish the installation and it's going to run Streamlabs OBS. Once you begin Streamlabs, you're going to notice this blank, confusing sheet. Don't worry, it's actually very simple. On the left, you have scenes. A scene is what you display to your students when you're live streaming. Before you do anything, you're going to click on left and you're going to log in. Here, you'll select the platform that you want to stream to. It can be Facebook, it can be YouTube, it can be Twitch. I like Twitch because it's just, in my opinion, the simplest platform to stream to. And I'm going to enter my Twitch login information. Authorize Streamlabs to access your Twitch account or whatever software you pick. And as you can see, right now the source is completely blank, which is what your source is going to look like the first time you're on Streamlabs. So here is what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to find what you want students to actually hear or see. I want them to see two things. I want them to see this PowerPoint that I made of Gatsby or I didn't make actually. And I want them to see this video that has Gatsby chapter four narration. And this is what I want my students to see in The Great Gatsby, this chapter four narration, and then my slides after that. So I'm going to want to add both of these to my scene, one I have to hear, one to see, and of course, my speaking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to source, I'll hit plus, and I'm going to add a window capture. I'll add that, and I'll call this one PowerPoint. What this means is it's capturing a window on my computer. So either this window or this window, and it's just showing that it's ready to capture it. So I'm going to call it PowerPoint and I'll add PowerPoint. As you can see, this is now part of my scene. Students will see this and not just see it randomly. They'll see it as I move through it. They'll see those changes in real time. I also want to make sure that I have the narration for the audio effects. So I'll once again go to window capture, I'll add a source, I'll add a new source this time, and this time I'll call it Chrome. Add the source, select Chrome, and that has my video. So when I play the video, 
students can hear it. At the same time, I can make this smaller because quite frankly, students don't need to see much more of this. They just need to hear it. So I can make it smaller and I can put it in the corner because when I play it, the size of the window doesn't affect the play. So that way they can focus on the PowerPoint. Finally, I'm going to add one final source. No lesson is complete without the teacher, so I want to make sure my students can see me and then I can pause the recording and speak to them as needed. So I'll hit plus, and this time I'll hit another angle. Instead of the window capture, because my face is not a window, we'll do video capture device, which allows you to put your built-in webcam. I'll add that source, and video capture device is fine, so I'll add that, and voila. It now has my video on here as well, and I can put this wherever I want. So I can have this take up the entire screen, I can have this take up that, or I can take up more, as much as I want, whatever size I want. And this can stay short because it's just an audio source. Either way, the point is, however I want this scene to look, my students will be able to see it. And now as I'm moving through a PowerPoint to a new slide, new slide, new slide, I'm talking, I can hit play, whatever I want to do, my students are seeing and hearing everything, except we're not live yet. The point is, this is to show what it would look like. Now, remember when I told you to log in? You're already logged in to Twitch, so there's nothing complicated you have to do. I can also go here under settings, one final thing. I'll go to general, and I'll make sure that it says automatically record when streaming. That's going to keep a recording of my stream for when I want to actually upload it to Google Classroom or whatever system I have to communicate with my students who can't attend the live stream for whatever reason. I can also hit record here and I can just record. I don't even have to go live. This would be great for just recording a lesson if you don't have some of the other softwares like Screencastify or whatever to record your lessons. So if I just want to record myself and move through the PowerPoint, I can do that just by hitting record. But now, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click go live. And I'm going to call this just talking about Gatsby. And Twitch was designed for games, but there isn't. So I'll just pick IRL, which means in real life. I can select tags for whatever I need, but this is just to show that it's a conversation. That's IRL just talking about Gatsby. I'll confirm and I'll go live. And as you can see, I am now live. Now, every person has a unique Twitch link and as soon as someone goes there, they see it. So let me show you what my Twitch link looks like right now. And I'll pick Pakistani pepper. So when I go there, people can see that I am live right now. And whatever I move here, people will see in that live stream. So for example, I move to a new slide here and I'm talking about it, and people who are watching my live stream will see it. So as you can see, whatever I'm doing here live, students would be able to go on it and they would be able to see it just as I would with like maybe a 10 second delay. So whatever I'm talking about to you right now, I'm also streaming live. My fans will be people who follow me on Twitch, like all four of them, will be weirded out by what's happening right now. But either way, that's sort of what I have to do. Uh, those of you that just, I just realized I got two viewers, for those of you that are just checking in, this is just for me to show how um, to stream on Twitch to teachers, because I'm a YouTuber and I do teaching tutorials, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not playing a game right now, but I appreciate you logging in to watch. Anyway, um, I'll be ending the stream shortly. You might see me do another demo stream on games, but this was just to show teachers how to stream in case they want to stream to their students. So, unfortunately, no game here. Anyway, once I go through all this, I can now see any student who chooses to chat. I can see their chat on the left end right here and I can respond to that chat 
in real time. So this will be great for students. Wow, the people who are watching me on Twitch are probably getting a really good lesson right now <laughs> on how I teach. But anyway, um, first of all, Twitch fans, I'm sorry to cut short. I gotta end the stream because this was just a demo stream for teachers. So I'm out. But as you can see, this basic idea is what it's all about with streaming. So you just created a scene. I showed you how to stream it to one platform. You can choose one of the other platforms like YouTube or whatever you wish. And essentially you will have created your live stream through these very simple steps. As you saw, I did this in real time. I didn't have a ton of editing. So it was a relatively quick process and it lets you stream whatever you need it to in order to actually speak to your students in real time. And that is the benefit of live streaming. And just as I showed you right now, you are 110% ready to live stream with what you have. No special software or hardware other than Streamlabs OBS required. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing. Be sure to leave a comment below regarding how you plan on using live streaming. And if you have any questions, be sure to share them and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. This is Pax Any Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.